Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, this is gonna be a Sagittarius reading. This is a general timeless reading, so whenever you find this, it's meant for you. Also, this is for any Sagittarius placement, so sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, Lilith, you name it, okay? Or you could just be curious. There's nothing wrong with that. I am going to be doing my readings a little bit different, Sagittarius, going forward. So I'm going to do the general reading like I always do. Then I'm going to follow up with a love reading, okay? So let me know if you like that additional segment to my videos in the comment section below. I am going to meditate with you guys as usual. Um, so feel free to breathe in and out with me to release any negative energy and allow us to be open to receive any of the messages in this reading. Okay, let's get started, Sagittarius. So for your general reading, we have coming in the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Fool, the Ten of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so hmm. This is actually my second time filming this Sagittarius. I know I say that in a lot of my readings, but I just have such a tough time filming. <laughs> I don't know why, but just always something just goes wrong. I'm not sure why, but anyways, um, I feel like that you are following your intuition. Um, I feel like with the Ten of Wands here, you're definitely leaving something behind, but I feel like that you're walking towards something. And I say that, and I, and I don't know if this is going to pick up on camera because it looks a little bit different, but on the table, it looks like to me that you're walking towards this. Okay. So that's how it looks like when I'm looking at it on my table. Okay. So you're definitely walking towards Ten of Pentacles. So you want to, uh, be wealthy not only in your finances and things like that but you also want to be wealthy in your spirituality and in your family relationships or friendships it could be any bond that you have in your life but i see that you want to balance um and you want to be um prosperous that's the word i'm looking for mentally physically and spiritually okay which is beautiful energy sagittarius um I have a strong sense that you did walk away from a person. It could have been a situation or like a environment, meaning like a career or you could have moved homes or something like that. But I'm not picking up on that. I feel like that you left some burdens behind. You could have thought that the person was a burden. Um, just as a Sagittarius, you guys are a truth seeker, very kind, very loving people. Um, but you like to be honest and you like people to be honest with you so they could have been deceptive to you um and that's some energy that i picked up in the previous reading that i wasn't able to post um so i feel like with the queen of cups like i said earlier you want to follow your intuition um your crown chakra is activated so you could have got downloads that the person wasn't being truthful to you you could have possibly wanted to have a family with the person um, or you could have like children with children with them, excuse me already. Um, or you could have had like a higher level of commitment. So marriage, um, boyfriend, girlfriend, it all depends on how you view a higher level of commitment. Okay. But, um, with the nine of cups being here, you will be blessed with something new Sagittarius. Okay. So something will come forward for you. Um, and you will take a leap of faith. Okay. And the fool is right before the nine of wands. So I feel like the leap of faith that you're having, if you guys can see this, um, is just stepping out on your own Sagittarius. Um, wanting to leave this burden in the past um to to walk towards your happiness okay so the ten of pentacles could literally just be happiness for you hmm. but with the nine of cups when i see this card um intuitively sagittarius i always feel like that the, that the person is holding on to something from the past okay and this could be if that it, this was in your shadow energy. So you possibly may be still holding on from holding on to the past, excuse me, um, which is normal when you in in bonds with people. 
um, it, it's a process to like heal and to like recover Sagittarius. Okay, so I just feel like you're in the process of um, healing yourself um, and just becoming more aligned with your higher self and with God. Um, and that could have pushed you to kind of leave the situation just because you felt like that it just wasn't for your higher self. Okay, so very courageous. Um, and I'm happy for you that you were able to take that leap of faith and just really rely on yourself um, and know that you deserve more. I know that this is a general reading, um, but for some reason lately, my readings have been put, picking up more on love. It could be because we're almost going into like February and that's when Valentine's Day is and it's the fresh start of a year. So I feel like most, a lot of people tend to focus a lot more on romance. So maybe that's why the energy is picking up on that because I usually don't, sometimes it's more career, sometimes it's more family. It just depends on the energy for the sign. Okay. So that's where you are in your general. I'm not going to try to like stretch that out. Sagittarius so straight to the point. Okay. So let's get into your love um, relationship. Okay. So this is funny, Sagittarius. Well, I shouldn't say funny, but like I said, this is my second time recording this. And I actually took a break and recorded like two or three other signs in between. And I came back to came back to you guys. Um, and ironically enough, the devil and the sun came out in you guys' first reading that I wasn't able to post. And that's so weird because I, like I said, I took a split and then, well, took a break, I should say and then filmed other signs and those cards didn't come out. So that's very interesting. So I feel like that this message is really meant to be and the energy that I'm feeling for you um, is as accurate as possible for a general reading for a group, if that makes sense, Sagittarius. Okay, so um, let's get into the love reading. So we have the Knight of Cups coming in. What are the qualities that you wanna call in your call in um, or the qualities that you want your next person to have, or this could be a current bond, okay? You just have to take it how it resonates with your Sagittarius. Um, so Knight of Cups, this is my Mr. and Mrs. Romance, or Mr. and Miss Romance <laughs> card, Sagittarius, okay? So um, they are everything you ever dream of that you could have, okay? So very romantic uh the flowers the walk on the beach the picnic the wine the work sagittarius you name it okay um which is very befitting for you guys because i feel like that like you guys are very loving and very caring people but very honest which i always respect about people um so that's what you want to call in for your new partner okay you want the romance so that could be something that you were missing in your past relationships um or you felt like that you gave too much and you didn't really get much in return okay um and then who will the person remind you of or some other traits that they could possibly have number 19 the sun okay so um they are your joy your abundance um your peace um they have very radiant energy okay Hmm. Beautiful energy, beautiful energy. Um, in your blockage, we have the three of cups. Okay. So this is usually my friendship card. This is like, um, I usually think of Aquarius. You can have that somewhere in your chart. Um, I'm just going to be honest, uh, with the devil coming out in how do they perceive you? I feel like that this is a current bond. I feel like that this is the bond that you're currently healing from okay so i want to start there and then i'm going to shift into the new love just so i can stay like kind of structured in the reading so i feel like with the three of cups being in your blockage sagittarius um maybe your friends or family members told you about this person and you possibly didn't listen to them so that could have been why we had the queen of cups coming out in your general reading because like i said the crown chakra is activated um you're listening more to your higher self um, and you're more aligned with God. So usually when that happens, we get a lot more downloads. We tend to listen to our intuition because we always have a gut feeling, but we usually ignore it when we are not aligned with our higher self and with God, Sagittarius. So um, I feel like that family members or friends could have told you that about this person. Um, maybe that they didn't have, they thought the person didn't have good intentions or maybe they saw certain behaviors or traits that you particularly didn't see um it could have been some trickery or some 
deception like I mentioned in the general reading with the knight of cups sometimes that person can be like a player so they can tell us what they can tell us what we want to hear Sagittarius and oftentimes that isn't the truth okay which is odd because that totally goes against what a Sagittarius is um, and when I was doing the reading initially in this time it just didn't feel like Sagittarius energy and I kept on saying this just doesn't feel like Sagittarius energy and maybe that could have been what happened that you were in love with the person like I said you could have children or higher level commitment um, and you they could have or you could have had a veil over your eyes and then eventually once um, once you got the downloads uh, the veil came off and you see and you saw the person for their true colors so um, they could have made you believe that you that they were excuse me a knight of cups or they had the sun energy that they were very radiant very abundant very happy um, that they were going to give you that ten of pentacles we mentioned in the, in the general reading um, and it was like kind of a facade okay and the weirdest thing I believe when I first recorded the reading I think the sun was in how they perceived you and then the devil was switched it was how you perceived them if that makes sense Sagittarius so <sighs> there was some codependent issues in the relationship I feel like um, this could also represent that either you or the other person are obsessing about the relationship or the past relationship okay if this is a new a new relationship um things could be going really well because they are very very um romantic um very happy you love their energy their vibe they make you feel really good um so you guys could just be a little bit obsessed with each other um take that how that resonates okay we can look at that sometimes in a good way or a bad way okay it's just how we perceive things okay but i just i could see it meaning that the devil if this bond is going well and everyone's being truthful with each other that you guys could just be highly fond of each other um very much feeling each other and wanting to spend more time with each other as much as possible if that makes sense um but with the other scenario um it could have been a very unhealthy or toxic relationship Sagittarius um and if you look at this car you'll notice that he has like strings and he's over top of the man kind of treating him like a puppet so the person could have had that type of um that type of um effect on you if that's the correct word I'm looking for um, and your friends and family could have been bothered by that, okay? Because that's in your emotional blockage. So something seemed to be hidden from you. I don't have that on the table. Let me see what the cards underneath the deck is. Juggling. Judgment. Okay. Um, I have a message for the last four cards that was at the bottom of the deck, but I'm going to get to that in a little bit. Um, so they could have had that puppet type of effect on you just because it was like an illusion with the Knight of Cups in the Sun. Um, you could have felt that the person had the best intentions for you, but other people around you um, saw otherwise. With the devil also being here, you could have Capricorn in your chart, Sagittarius, or the person you were dealing with, um, or somebody in your environment. It, it could have been that family member or friend that kind of warned you about the person. Um, but if you do have that in your chart, Sagittarius, I am picking up on a reading that this is a time for you to push forward um, and try to invest more time or invest more time, I should say, um, in your career um, and in starting a business, okay? Because Capricorns are great business people. That is one of the traits that they are known for is that they are great in business because they strategize, they analyze, like they will try to perfect things. They are an earth sign, so they're very grounded. So they have the strength naturally to uphold a very strong, successful business Sagittarius. So I'm picking up on that. If that is in your chart that the relationship ended so you could focus more on yourself um and we do have at the bottom of the deck the judgment okay so a judgment was made and if you look very closely she's looking at a reflection of herself but of her higher self and look at how free that person is okay so i feel like that that's the energy um 
you are at right now also underneath that we have the ace of wands so crown chakra activated again sagittarius okay so a lot of great ideas are coming in for you um you might feel like it's too much on your plate um so that might be pushing you away um, from not starting the new business or focusing more on your career or possibly going back to school but um, you have so much more free time um, I feel like we want to have a balance but sometimes when we invest more in ourselves and bettering our lives that helps us heal a lot more okay um so give your time give yourself time to heal and process and think about what your next move want to be but i feel like it's definitely in the car for you having a successful business sagittarius so definitely take um advantage of that the eight of pentacles working on yourself putting in the hard work to heal and to have that successful business okay it could be something in spirituality or it could be something for or, um, you going back to school like I mentioned earlier with the books there okay um, four of pentacles um, you want to save more so savings could be an issue for you Sagittarius okay um, but everything is going to work out for you okay so you just have to have faith in yourself um, you could like I said have some financial issues but your finances will increase once you once you invest more in this um, business idea that you're thinking of or school or um, or finding a new job or something like that so just take it how it resonates with, with you okay coming out at the bottom for all the cards that i pull from the bottom of the deck um you have a lot of pinnacles okay so definitely an e uh, increase in finances sagittarius okay and i feel like you working on yourself and um increasing your finances or in, or changing your career somehow if that's a business or not um will bring you to that ten of pinnacles that um, was in your general reading and you walking away with the ten of wands could be you walking away to yourself um, or you walking away to another career or to advance your career or your personal life okay so great energy Sagittarius I'm going to pull one lesson card for you and then we're going to close the reading okay if this video resonated with you um, please um Please let me know in the comment section below um, and also share if you're comfortable in the comment section. OK, I feel the need to take this one. OK, death, which is like the death and rebirth card in the in the traditional tarot deck. OK, so Scorpio energy, um, it says I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. OK, that's why I had the strong urge to pull this card because it was like about to shuffle back in and i was like i feel the urge to take this one so definitely a death and rebirth process that you have had okay and with every death comes a new beginning sagittarius okay um that is the end for me i would truly appreciate if you guys um share like and subscribe it's so many things i have to list i get like tongue-tied and forget um if you have not heard this today uh sagittarius you are loved and you are cherished okay until next time my loves bye-bye